Clover is a simple and easy to set up custom dual boot menu for the Steam Deck. This was created by Ryan Rudolph from Philippines, which was inspired from the Refine script by JLoBoo10. You can see the full list of instructions on his GitHub page, which I have linked in the description. To set it up, you will first need to go into your Windows installation and set the time zone properly and a command to fix garbled graphics. Right click on the time in the bottom right corner of Windows and left click adjust date and time. Make sure set time zone automatically is selected and set your time zone according to your area. Next, open a command prompt as administrator. Then type in the following, bcd edit space dash set space curly bracket left global settings right curly bracket space highest mode space on and then press enter. You should see a message that it completed successfully. Then type in reg edit and press enter. Once inside of the registry editor, go into the HKey local machine system folder, current control set folder, control folder, and then time zone information. Then right click on the right side window and choose new D word 32 bit. Name this exactly as real time is universal with the proper punctuation and change the value to one. And press enter. You could also paste this into the command shell in the description and it will do the same thing. Now we're ready to go into SteamOS first by shutting down, then holding the volume minus and power together and then choosing SteamOS. In SteamOS, go into the desktop mode by tapping Steam Power Desktop Mode. Inside here, you'll need to click on the deck button on the bottom left and go to the system and then console. In here we need to type the following, git space clone space https colon forward slash forward slash git hub dot com forward slash ryan rudolph oba forward slash steam deck dash clover dash dual boot and press enter this url is also in the description once this is downloaded type in cd space steam deck dash clover dash dual boot and press enter Then type in chmod space plus x space install dash clover dot sh. If you get any errors on these commands, make sure that your punctuation is exact as the Linux file structure is case sensitive. Now to install, type dot forward slash install dash clover dot sh and press enter. It will prompt for your password. So if you've not set a password, it will prompt you to do so. Then rerun the script after you set it. Once you run the script, you will see a menu where you can choose the default operating system to boot into. Select either Windows or Steam OS. Once you're finished, choose OK. All we need to do is restart the Steam Deck to see the new menu. Clover will automatically detect any microSD or external drive installations of Windows. It can also detect installations of Batacera, Kali, Ubuntu, Fedora, and Ventoy. If you ever have any issues with the boot menu working in an instance like it automatically booting into Windows at every startup, you will just need to go into SteamOS, again by holding volume minus and power, 
and this time choosing SteamOS with the A button. Once inside SteamOS, you should be able to reboot and the boot menu should return. If you're still having trouble, there is a Clover Boot Manager status shortcut that's added as a non-Steam game. Simply open it to check and see if the Clover service is running. If it's not, you may need to follow the reinstall process. If you have any additional issues, there is a list of common troubleshooting problems on the GitHub repository that's updated frequently. Ryan also has several other Steam Deck contributions you can check out on his GitHub. And if you want to show support for him, you can donate to his Great Cycle Challenge to help fight cancer for kids. Lastly, I will show you how to uninstall it if you're unsatisfied or want to try something like Refind, or maybe just maybe Valve's official dual boot is released. <laughs> Go back into desktop mode in SteamOS, then open the Dolphin file browser. In this you'll find the folder one clover tools. Right click here and choose open in console. Type in dot forward slash uninstall dash clover dot sh and press enter. Then you enter your sudo password and you will see the following output. You can close the console window and delete the one clover tools folder, which will now be empty. Go back into game mode, go to your library, and then the non Steam category, tap the options button, and then go to manage and remove non Steam game from your library and press A. Clover has now been completely removed and you are ready to start your journey anew.